Okay, let's see what effects we had put onto these drums, the individual dr drum elements. I assume that all these L's are going to be lo-fi. Really love the Avid Lo-Fi plugin. For a lot of Lana's stuff, I was using this Lo-Fi plugin a lot as kind of a filter by just lowering the sample rate. So you see the sample rate is down to a very low bit rate. It just made the sound really dark and gritty, especially when you add the distortion on this plugin. That's without it, and it's just clicky. Clicky 808. So a lot of these drums probably have that. There's another one, the snare. I just took off most of the snap from the snare. The lo-fi plugin, just tweaking down the sample rate. And that's kind of, see it's much cleaner without it. That's kind of the um, secret <laughs> to most of these records during this time was the lo-fi plugin just lowering the sample rate a little bit. Added an eighth note delay on it to back up the one that was... Oh, you know what? I, I separated the sample here and took it out from the TR-8 and added my own delay and reverb. And I knew, like, we wanted to have this uh, swishy sound kind of like wave. So this reverse snare that's added to the beat. It's just uh, using the reverse plugin in Audio Suite. There's lo-fi, there's a lo-fi insert on it, but it's not doing anything. There's nothing on there, on that reverse snare. Uh, on the open hi-hat, I assume there's gonna be some more filtering. You can see the sample rate is cut down a little bit on lo-fi on the open hi-hat, that just kind of cuts off a little bit of this breathy high end that we were trying to eliminate out of pretty much the whole album. So we wanted everything to be kind of dark. We wanted to have beats there, but just not beats that are in your face. So this lo-fi plugin, it happened, it, we used it a lot on all the tracks. Not just drum tracks, uh, instrument tracks too. We'll probably see some in this session. Yeah, you can see the closed hi-hat also. Same amount of cut as the open hi-hat. So when you bypass both of these, it probably the hi-hat probably just gets a little bit brighter. Or a lot brighter. So that's how those sounds were created, you know, from getting it from stock in the box, uh, TR-808 sounds and kind of making them a little bit more unique compared to what was kind of coming up on urban radio at that point. The reverse cymbal comes in. There's a little bit of compression on it just to make it sound like it lasts longer. And then the, the forward cymbal on the downbeat, I always do this when I have a cymbal on the downbeat, especially if it's a sample. I always add like a quarter note delay that's very subtle and um, a long reverb. This time I use D-verb, but I think this might have been before we got the Valhalla plugins, so that's why it's D-verb. So that just makes the cymbals last a little bit longer when you have that quarter note delay. And it puts the cymbal into a, a, a pocket. So then, you know, that's the 808 beat. And here are the hip hop samples, the more vinyl samples over top. Again, you see the same lo-fi cut with the sample rate that kind of filters out the high end of these samples. The same setting on both of those samples. Let's bypass them. So now there's this annoying high end ring to it. So we just kind of cut that out and let the samples be a little bit harder, a little bit darker. And then overall, when you look at what all the drums are going through, they're going through this aux, and I assume that it's gonna be an H comp, the capitator, 
which I was using a lot of, and probably presets, yep. Heavy drum. It's barely, I, I used to, um, and I still do all the time, I love plug-in preset. I always load up something that's gonna be close to what I'm looking for, preset-wise. And I know a lot of people don't like to admit to using presets. I readily admit it, I use presets all the time because, you know, plugins come with presets. Use them. What I would do is I'd find the preset that's pretty close to what I like and then, and then tweak. This is a little bit far from what the actual preset is. Probably lower the mix or something. Let's hear without the uh, overall drum compression and saturation. Very subtle, but it just kind of fattens the drums, the overall drum picture, and, and makes them a little bit tougher. I love those two plugins in succession on drums. 